Welcome to Learning Apache Cassandra. I'm Ruth Stryker, longtime trainer who got into the big data space in 2010. Since 2013, I've been completely focused on Apache Cassandra, creating training courses as well as delivering training. Let's take a look at what we're going to be doing in this course. In Unit 1, Introducing Cassandra in the Course, we're going to first talk about what is Cassandra and what are people using it for. Then we're going to get set up for doing the exercises in the course. So we'll talk about the system requirements, how to download the working files folder, and get our main virtual machine set up and open. In Unit 2, Getting Started with the Architecture, we're going to learn the basics of Cassandra's architecture. We need to do this because as we go forward, we're going to be very much in hands-on mode, and we need to know the basic foundation of how Cassandra works, so that when we're writing an expression like replication factor 3, we know what that means. In Unit 3, Installing Cassandra, we're going to go through the steps for installing Cassandra. In Unit 4, Communicating with Cassandra. We're going to go through the different ways to communicate with Cassandra, and then we're going to go on to use CQLSH, which allows us to write Cassandra query language commands on the command line. Then, in Unit 5, creating a database, which, by the way, in Cassandra is called a key space, we're going to learn how to do that, and we're going to make a couple databases. In Unit 6, creating a table, we're going to learn how to do that. We're going to make a few tables. In Unit 7, we're going to learn the options for inserting data, and then we're going to go ahead and insert data. In Unit 8, Modeling Data, we're going to learn what is the best way to model data in Cassandra. In Unit 9, Creating an Application, we're going to create a couple applications. Let's take a look at those. One of them is our Alarm System Status Application. This is going to allow a homeowner to enter in their home ID and see the activity for their home alarm system. In our second application, this is for a rental car company to be able to track the location of their automobiles. Let's say that somebody hasn't returned a vehicle and we want to find out where is that vehicle. We could go ahead and enter in the date and the vehicle ID and it would show us exactly where that vehicle is located. In Unit 10, Updating and Deleting Data, we're going to learn how do we update and delete data in Cassandra and what's really going on in the back end when we do that. In Unit 11, Selecting Hardware, we're going to look at selecting hardware for production. CPU recommendations, RAM, type of storage, those are the sorts of topics we'll be looking at in Unit 11. In Unit 12 and onwards, we're going to be creating a multi-node cluster. So up to this point, we've got a single node cluster, but in Unit 12, we're going to be adding nodes, going through the steps and how to do that. In Unit 13, we're going to look at tools for monitoring a cluster. Unit 14, repairing nodes. Unit 15, removing nodes. What if a node dies? How do we remove it from the cluster? Or what if we want to remove a node? Maybe we don't need as much capacity at this point in time. So we'll be doing that in Unit 15. In Unit 16, redefining a cluster for multiple data centers, we're going to make it so that our cluster is across more than one data center. And this is a common feature and reason people choose Cassandra. They want to have a database that provides high availability so that if one data center gets wiped out, the other one can continue to serve requests. And then finally, in Unit 17, Resources for Further Learning and Wrap-Up, we're going to talk about various resources available, such as the documentation, various blogs, especially those from committers on the project, how to look at recordings of events such as the Cassandra Summits, how to post questions, and the various meetups that are available so you can meet other people in the Cassandra community and continue learning. Let's get started.